I don't just love when someone or some company fucks up and they try to bandage the wound as much as they can. Anyways, for today's episode of Things That Annoy Me, I want to talk about damage control. Anyways, let's get on with it. So if you don't know what damage control is, let me explain. It basically means to, like I said in the intro, when someone fucks up, or a company of sorts fucks up, they will bandage the wound as much as they can and lessen the effect of that wound so that people aren't as mad or as affected by that wound as they should be. Now I'm going to use an example of a certain game that was really one hell of a victim of damage control. Are you ready? Don't be surprised. You probably won't be surprised anyways. Halo the Master Chief Collection. Anybody remember how that turned out in launch? You know, completely broken, achievements not registering, not being able to play the game, not being able to find a match for hours on end, you know, really good times for Halo and Halo the Master Chief Collection as a whole. So. The reason I'm using this as an example is because Microsoft and 343 Industries damage controlled the hell out of this game. If you remember, when the game came out and everyone was complaining about how fucked up and broken to the core it was, Microsoft and 343 Industries came out with excuses and damage controlling nonsense such as, well, you see, the it's four games combined into one, you know, on one disc, so issues like these were expected. And to that I say, no, don't fuck with us like that. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to be a company, then you better take responsibility for your actions when you're going to pull shit like this. And yes, I know, the Master Chief Collection is supposedly working right now, but it doesn't excuse the fact that it should have worked properly from the get-go. You know, when you buy a product, you want it to be <laughs> working properly when you buy it. It's like buying a car but not having all the pieces and parts along with it. You know, and then having to go back to wherever you bought the car from, only to find out that it's going to take several more months to get it fully put together so that you actually got your money's worth. That's basically what it was with the Master Chief Collection. You paid $60 up front, only to see that you weren't going to get the full working product. Basically just a beta test until mid-2015. So about seven, eight months afterwards it finally worked properly, which is something that no game shouldn't ever have to go through and no company should ever have to make an excuse for something like this. And it doesn't matter if this was four games in, combined into one. If it wasn't ready to be released yet, then it should have been delayed. In fact, it shouldn't have even been... In fact, 343 Industries should have not even given it a release date yet. They should have just given it a release date when they felt that it was good enough to actually be released. You know, because if you're going to give her a release date to a game only to delay it, that's going to piss off people. So uh, don't give release dates to games until they're in a good enough state to actually be released, you know, because delays are annoying. Just saying. So basically, the point that I'm trying to make with this video is that don't damage control. Just take responsibility for your actions, you know, because uh, when you're not damage controlling and you actually are very upfront about an issue that people are affected by, and you're not sugarcoating whatsoever, then people will respect you a bit more, you know? Sure. They may not uh, buy your excuses, but the good thing about it is that you learned a lesson. That lesson is that you should never piss someone off with bullshit excuses and damage control and such. And hopefully, th this video can be a lesson to some of you viewers. And the, and the catastrophe that was the Master Chief Collection can be a lesson to the industry. Hopefully it was. <laughs> because uh, with ports of... Uh, Certain games this year, you know, such as uh, the PC ports of Arkham Knight. Yeah. I... I don't know. Anyways, that's all I had to say. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, I'm out.